Hi friends, good morning. Welcome to Inglane English Classroom. In 9th grade, 9th standard, we have already discussed all the lessons in first unit and uh, uh, all the activities and everything we have discussed. Now, what we are going to do is we can conclude that lesson or that unit along with some guidelines for the unit test. How? You have watched all the videos with the lessons in unit 1, don't you? And I think we have got a clear idea of each and everything. Now let us have some glimpses of that unit. What was the theme of that unit? Its theme is sports. What are the sub-themes? Sportsman spirit, motivation, family support, hard work for success, overcoming obstacles by perseverance, optimism and confidence, necessity of mental and physical health, empathy, diligence and goal setting. You know all these things. We have discussed it. Now, which were the lessons the first there was a short story by Isha Punjabi the race you know what was the in the story that was the story of a boy Tarun who was a mediocre student but wanted to become the fastest runner in the world in the beginning he cannot impress the readers but later after his meeting with the Ram Narayan, he becomes a hero and Ram Narayan's words inspired him and it gave him or it gives him a new ray of hope. He participates the race even though he cannot uh, win, he can impress Ramarayan and he gets his training. Okay, now that's a very nice story, we have discussed it in detail. Now the second one is an excerpt from the autobiography of the cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, its name you remember that is really the second chapter of playing it my way uh, the autobiography of uh, Sachin Chandrakar now you know it has four parts first one is the introduction uh, to uh, the induction of Sachin to the Mumbai cricket circuit second one is summer camp, third one is his changing schools, last one is the lessons he learned from his new school and from his new coach and uh, uh, that is inside and outside the new school. That's also very interesting and motivating excerpt and we have a song that is bang the drum. We will discuss it uh, in brief, so let us move on. Now we have come across these discourses there. We have processed all these discourses in the videos along with the, uh, or in the first unit. So I am not going uh, to do this in detail, but just to remind you, first a conversation was the next uh, Tarun's thoughts we have written and uh, announcement is the write-up is the cat sketch is the then uh, narrative of Fajit is the profile of Ramakanda Jayakasar is the and again write-up is the uh, then a script for introducing a guest it is the we have done all these things in detail if you feel any doubt, it will be clear to you or it is clear to you. Otherwise, you please watch the video again, then it will be clear. Right? 
Now concerning to the song Bang the Drum. It is as you know an Olympic theme song. The song was performed by popular Canadian singers Brian Adams and Ali Furtado in the opening ceremony of the 2010 Winter Olympics at BC Place, BC Place Stadium in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada as a tribute to the athletes presented there. It's a wake-up call for the athlete and he realizes that it's his time to run like the wind and conquer his passion. That is the theme, what is we are, we are discussing the theme. The beginning we can see what's that song and uh, who are the performers and uh, here the theme is there. There are the themes of eternal friendships, the indomitable human spirit and the sportsmanship in the song. They urge the seniors, urge the players to dream big and play to the best of their ability for the game rather than for just victory. That is the uh, dream of the founder of uh, uh, the father of uh, modern Olympics, you know that. And the poem talks of the indomitable human spirit and aim big and conquer one's passion, you know. Now, there are some alliteration or instances of alliteration. Follow the flame, little louder, you know. Foo foo, the this headline, alliteration headline. Both words begin with the same sound, little louder. Here too, the same is there. And auditory image, singing louder, banging the drum louder. We can hear those sounds. And the refrain is there. Many friends are there. Some of them are bang the drum a little louder so the whole world can hear. Whole world can hear, hear it again. These are refrain, it repeats. And then sing at the song a little louder so the world, whole world can hear. So the whole world can hear. That means the stanza of these lines repeat together. Along with that, each line repeats. Okay. Now, you know the refrain. What is the refrain? Refrain means a line or lines which is or which are repeated or which repeat or which repeats throughout the poem, right? Now, consonants is the example is whole world. See here the sound is repeating and is not in the beginning. If it is the beginning, we say it is an alliteration, but it is consonants, right? Now, simile is the run like the wind. Okay, I think you got it. Now, appreciation to write an appreciation we have discussed and a sample appreciation is there in that video. I think you might have gone through that. First impression should be the literal meaning, paraphrasing, imagery, lyrical qualities, figurative meaning and uh, message, conclusion, everything should be there. We have discussed these things in that uh, video. So, um, move forward. Now, let us see a sample. Evaluation 2. First, there will be a paragraph from uh, a text or the, from the lesson, the, from the story that we have learned. But you see, you have to note one thing the unitas can be from 20 to a, uh, 20 to 30 score, right? Maximum one hour duration will be there. And that is up to teacher. Sometimes some teachers uh, make a uh, question for only 10 minutes. That is up to the teacher. Now, this is for 30 minutes. And you can take uh, one hour to write this uh, 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 tool or to complete this tool. You know, this is a passage from Len, uh, the race. And you read it twice or thrice and comprehend it, understand it very well, then move on to the question. After that, we see the passage again, then you can answer it very easily. And while reading the question, you have to note that all the questions are not alike. Some questions, the answer is there as it is in the passage. The facts are there, so you can pick it and write it. 
As an example, what have Ram Narayan been watching about for 45 minutes? It is there as it is. You can write it. And do you think that in English Ram Narayan, that the question is to you? You can write yes or no. But note that if there are such questions, do not forget to write either yes or no. And pick out the sentence to justify your answer. That is to find out and just to copy the sentences. Okay. Now, on what condition did Amnaran agree to train that That's also a fact is that you have to uh, find out and write it here. And sometimes there may be some question to uh, which make you to analyze, to infer such questions may appear here. Find out from the passage a one word for deeply agitated, especially from grief. That is to test your word power, vocabulary. It is the word is the, we have discussed it. And you have to find it out. Why did Tarun feel happy? What was the job? Answer is as it is there in our passage. In that passage, you can write it. Okay, yes, each question carries one score. Now, the next question may be from a poem or song. Here there is a song. These two you have to do just as we did in the case of the prose passage. Read it twice or thrice. Understand it, comprehend it. After that, see the questions again. We will see to the uh, poem or song. First question is what message does the lyricist try to convey in the first four lines? That is very clear, yes, you can write it. And what are the singers asked to bang the drum a little? Why are the singers asked to bang the drum a little louder? Here you know that. To participate is the most important, not to win. It is there, you know. Participation is more important than winning. Here, why are the singers asked to do, you know that, come on. That is, to make it here, that to make every, the whole world hear them, right? Next, to come on the whole world can hear. You can come and on it in two ways. That is a refrain, example for refrain. And more, moreover, that is an instance of a mm, consonants too. Next, speak of two instances of alliteration. We have discussed it. Now, there will be any of these discourses. It was a day he wanted to wipe out. Teacher is free to ask you any discourse which you, you learned either in, a, in this class, that is 9th or in uh, it is standard. But here I include only the discourses that we have discussed in the lessons, right? First one is the diary and you know that we have discussed in detail. Next one is questionnaire. You know, it is there in our textbook. Uh, the questions asked by a journalist to Sachin Tendulkar, it is there. Simply, you write the questions only, right? It is for five score, so you have to write minimum five questions. And letter, we have written this. It's a personal letter, you know, who is writing and who is writing to and what is he writing for. All these things you have to consider. And the letter is a personal letter, so you can write it yourself. Notice it is familiar. And next one is prepare a profile of Sachin coach Remakan Ajirekar, sir, using the information. We have done it. Some more things are added. You can do it, right? Next, see. This is. Uh, focused on language element. We are used to do editing, so there may not be any problem with this uh, question. That is, you have to read it many times. And when you read, certainly you feel that this is not right. As an example, after four, we cannot put a watch, and connection from that is not right. And next. Athletes from, athletes, you know this word, athletes from various sports. No, is, we have studied that. When the 
subject is plural the verb should be plural you know that and will be after will be we cannot put a flag v3 should be put the okay this you know in that way you have to write it then next this type of questions will be the very simple you are unhappy today there you have to write a question tag you know you want then r and u and i want to wipe out today from my memory then ramarayan ask him something then tarun says i failed in two subjects then what will be the question why do you want to do it or what happened it is like sensible question can be written really then tarun is asking something then ramarayan replies i am ramarayan what will be the question who are you sir or uh, let me know your name sir just like that ram narayan then he is asking some question then the answer is yes answer is yes there is no comma then if there is a comma and the answer is or no we can uh, ensure that uh, it is sure that you have to write a question tag but here you see this yes, here the answer is yes but the uh, question is not uh, 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 no comma is here so there should be a yes or no question you have to write a yes or no question how can we write it i won it in the 400 meter race in 1960 the answer then you know this is about olympic medal then how can you frame the question did you win a uh, did you win an olympic medal that can be the question okay in that way you have to write it now i think got an idea uh, about the unit test tool and how can you learn for that or prepare for that do it honestly and score in full meet you again thank you for watching meet you again till then goodbye